um, hello everyone so uh, today I just want to explain touch dot nn dot conf conf 2d module in PyTorch and it has some arguments for example input channels uh, for this example it is 3 output channels 2 for this example and the kernel size I will explain what they all mean kernel size 2 stride we are going to have a stride of 1 and a pardon we are going to have 0 pardon so I assume you know convolution so traditionally you are going to have an image that is going in that is going to go into this um, layer and we are going to write some information that we are going to use for the dimension so the cn is 3 which is actually this meaning that the input image has 3 channels rgb for example this will have R, uh, 3 channels red green and blue c out is actually the number of filters each filter does different things and um, height of the input image is 3 width of the input image is 3 height of the kernel is 2 width of the kernel width and width of the filter or kernel they are the same thing 2 batch size we are going to have just one image pardon we are going to use a uh, zero pardon pardon p of zero stride s of one okay so technically this image is actually of this form it has three uh, channels and each channel is actually like a separate tensor so pytorch is going to use this is going to create two filters randomly of uh, that will, the dimension of those filters will depend on the input dimension and each filter will have three channels because input has three channels and says as i said each kind of uh channel is like a separate tensor that is filter one and filter two uh, we have two filters because output channels is two it's something like this each channel is a separate tensor so uh, dimension of the input will always be something like this b c n h n and w n dimension of each of these uh, channels will always be h k you know w k which is uh, 2 by 2 similarly for this h k w k it is 2 by 2 so what's going to happen is that this will be convolved with this so let me make it clear this is the red channel red channel the green channel green channel and then the blue channel so this will be convolved with this and will end up with something like this this will be convolved with this will end up something like this the blue and the blue will be convolved and will end up with something like this this red and red will be convolved and will end up with something like this green and this green will be convolved will end up with something like this this and this and or something like this and each of them will have a dimension of h out and w out by w out similarly this h out w out right but what is h out and w out while h out while h out is actually uh, h n plus 2 times pi then minus h k divided by the stride plus 1 and um, the blue out is actually um, width of the input plus two times pi m minus width of the kernel divided by the stride plus one so let us draw this channel the result in a little bit more compact form similarly this so let us not forget that we also have our bias term b because this will be added to the bias and also the bias so dimension of this will always be 
by the way dimension of this bias is one it's actually like a kind of scalar similarly this one and dimension of this is actually b by one by h out w out and this one also b by one h out w out but you might be thinking like how can you add a scalar to this uh, kind of a bigger tensor? So PyTorch can, uh, will actually, or maybe in NumPy, they usually broadcast it. They are going to convert this dimension into the same dimension as this, B1, H out, W out. And the values in this tensor will, will be the same. All of the values are replicated kind of. And uh, similarly for this, the bias will be converted to something like this. Uh, and W out and the resulting dimension is the same it will not change B by 1 by H out W out uh, B by 1 by H out uh, and W out so uh, what's going to happen is that this Tensor and this will be concatenated and the final resulting dimension of this uh, layer will have a dimension the result of the layer dimension will be B by C out uh, H out by W out That is after concatenating this and this uh, Thank you